الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمد عبده ورسوله اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وخير الامور عوازمها وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار اوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل كما قال تعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون صدق الله العظيم respected elders brothers and sisters in islam today ummah is in crisis and we feel and we see that the way muslims are suffering we want to hear a good news that the cease fire has been taken place and the war is ended but unfortunately we do not see that and we know that more than or around 30000 palestinian people have been killed so far and muslim ummah is still crying making duas for them that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring the peace in the world my dear brothers and sisters in islam prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we know that you have been mentioned many predictions before the day of judgment which is going to take place in this world. For example, we know that the Messiah and Islam will come down, the child will appear, the zina will be spread, the sharab will be considered as a halal, the children will be disobeyed to their parents. We have seen many signs so far. Similarly, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also mentioned some consequences and some negative things about this ummah that we will be in the majority but at the same time we will have no value i would like to quote only one hadith in which the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned that the before the day of judgment we will be in the majority but we will have no value the hadith goes ثوبان قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يوشك الامم ان تداعى عليكم كما تداعى الاكله الى قصعتها prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says a time will come before the day of judgment on my nation on my ummah on my ummah that the other nations are calling on this nation the way we call to the people to our guests on the food table saying that brother take this this is the delicious dish i made for you this is the baklava i brought from the sense a special store take this to make a happy to our guests my dear brothers in islam similar situation will be occurred on this ummah from sallallahu alaihi wasallam says the nation are going to call on this ummah the way we call to our guests on the food table faqala qailun wa min qiblati nahnu yawma idhin o prophet of allah when the other nations are attacking on the ummah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam our number will be less he responded bal antum yawma idhin kafir no that day you will be in the main majority your number muslims will be the large <coughs> large number and we know that around 2 billion people around 2 billion muslims are living in this land on this one 57 muslim countries are there i mean 57 and what he says walakinnakum wasa an kawsa as-sayy even though you will be in the large dome but still you will have no value and how you would be treated 
Will that and God will that be saved? When we see the snow or rainfall, what do we see? That the garbage and trash is floating over the water. You and me even don't care. The prophet says that you will be treated like that trash. And on top of that, listen to me, and on top of that, what he said. He said that Allah will remove the frightening or fear of this Ummah from the other nations. First of all, you have no value. And the frightening or power or fear of this Ummah, Allah will remove it. No one will be scared from this Ummah. We are appealing again and again, over and over, saying that please have a ceasefire. But no one is listening. It's happening because we have no value, no power, no strength. And what he said, Allah will put the one in your kulub. In the Muslim Ummah, in the Quloob of the Muslim, Allah will put the Wahm. In what He said, قال قائلاً يا رسول الله وما الوهم? What is the mean of Wahm? Two words he mentioned. And to be honest with you, you and me see the same thing in our current situation and our daily lives. Number one, why is going to happen? Why it's happening? He said, dunya. That you will love so much to this worldly and materialistic life. That you wanted to gain pleasure over and over. And much more. And you don't like to miss any single moment which passed without the pleasure of this dunya. In the second word he said, and nobody would like to die. Everyone wants to say in this word, even though Prophet Sallallahu mentioned, the average age of this my ummah between 60 to 70. But still people wanted to increase their sahha, health, their age. And they're trying full effort that how I can live this life. Our youngsters knows this slogan <coughs> in the school. What they say, YOLO, you only live once. So do whatever you want to do. But at the same time, Islam also teaches, You have only one chance in this world. And once you go from this world, if you want to say what, Alhamdulillah, it will not be accounted. You, you are, Alhamdulillah will not be counted. You are gone. Your fire is close. So do the amal as salih as much as possible. Brothers, please move forward. Please move forward. I see some gaps in it. In the soft sukuf, so please move forward that we can comment them. But at the same time, when we see the problems in the Muslim Ummah, of course there is a solution for that. To find out the solution, we need to go back and check one book that is called Al Mushaf. Al Kareem, Al Quran, Sharif. We recite every day. And you will find the solution. Imagine, we know that. The first battle between Muslim and Kuffar took place, and we were only 313 people. And still, they got a victory. And then the next year, 
the kuffar, they said that we'll attack again, and came back to the Mosque, to, to Uhud, the battle of Uhud. And it took place. But in this battle, in this battle, we lost it. The big Sahab, the great Sahab, and Muslim lost this war, basically. And what I mentioned them, what happened? When Abu Sufyan realized, when they left the battle of the Uhud, and Muslims are wounded, including Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he himself is bleeding. He lost his tooth. His body is, you know, wounded completely. And the other Sahaba, they're also wounded. They have no energy to fight anymore. And Omar says that, oh, some of them said, Prophet Sallallahu left it and he's gone. He's no more. He throws a sword in the battle of the Uhud saying that when Prophet is no more, what is the point to fight more? Forget it. Imagine, imagine. That's, that crisis, that situation happened on this Ummah. And on that day, Prophet of Allah called the Sahaba again. And Quran mentions, الَّذِينَ اسْتَجَابُوا لِلَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا أَصَابَهُمُ الْقَرْحِ When they were wounded, when they have no energy, and then the news came to them that Kuffar in Makkah, that Abu Sufyan is coming back again to attack and eradicate and finish this people from the face of the earth. And that day, Prophet of Allah says, who was ready to come back again with me and fight? And Sahaba stood up. Sahaba stood up and said, we are ready, O Rasulullah. Even though you are wounded, we are wounded, we have no energy, but still you call us, we are ready. We are ready. In the Quran, it says, These are the people who show the great and excellence and ihsan and taqwa and Allah will reward them a great reward and then الَّذِينَ قَالَ لَهُمُ النَّاسُ إِنَّ النَّاسَ قَدْ جَمَعُوا لَكُمْ فَاخْشَوْهُمْ فَزَادَهُمْ إِيمَانًا when people they gather against a few to just show their power and you have nothing no technology no weapons no tanks no army no soldiers no air force no government, no system. And at that time, <clears throat> and Sahaba says, we have, we, are, we, we have no energy, but still we are ready. We just wanted to step up and go out in the, in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that time, Allah mentioned Fazal and Imana. Their level of Iman increased more because they believe in Allah, they trust in Allah. They do not trust in the weapons, tanks, technology, media. They believe only in Allah. And what they say? They said Allah is suffice to us. And he's the best protector to us. <coughs> My dear brothers in Islam, when we will have the same trust in Allah, when we will have the same trust in Allah, Allah will give the victory to us. And it will happen. <coughs> but we need to trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to follow the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to be practicing Muslim. We cannot ignore it. And we cannot make happy to the other nation as well. Allah clearly mentions you are not out there to just please to the people. Of course, we need to talk about our deen and our culture to the, with the other people. But at the same time, we cannot happy to other people. We need to happy, make happy to only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What tabahul is one Allah. We need to find His pleasure, His pleasingness, not the other people. <laughs> And my dear brothers in Islam, when we will have this type of Iman, Allah will give us the victory, inshallah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah.
الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في شان حبيب إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلم تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه من تبعه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين. Respected brothers, there is only one way to to come out from this crisis. That we can gain the respect, that we can have the value. And let me quote the one hadith. An Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu sami'at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Iza tabaya'atun bil'een Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that when you are dealing with riba, when your transactions have riba in trust, your daily life is full with the riba. وَأَخَذْتُمْ أَذْنَابَ الْبَقْرِ And when you are indulged with the cattle's وَرَضِيْتُمْ بِالزَّرْ And you are so happy with your farming or with your properties, with your bank balance, and the other, the word he said mentioned, وَتَرَكْتُمْ الْجِهَادِ And when you don't like to strive in the path of Allah subhanahu when you say that this is my life, let me live my life as how as I want because I am living in the free country. I want you to kill my time as how as I want and as I desire. But talk to me, Jihad. You don't like to come to the masjid. You're not ready to welcome to the month of Ramadan. You're not ready to fast in the month of Ramadan because your job is tough. But talk to me, Jihad. You're not ready to sacrifice anything in the path of Allah from your wealth and health. Sallat Allahu alaykum fullan. Mark my word. Prophet says, Sallat Allahu alaykum fullan. Allah will impose the humility on you that you will have no value. لا ينزعه in this humility, this respect will not come back to you. Allah will not remove it. حتى ترجعوا إلى دينكم until you went back to the Islam or religion of Islam. Until you become practicing Muslim. My name is only Abdullah. But my actions are not presenting or proving that I am a Muslim. My aqeedah is not reflecting or attracting the others that I am a Muslim. I have a different faith. My Yerud Islam, Allah will not remove the disrespect and honor for this Muslim Ummah until we go back to the Islam. Let me tell you one quote, one, one the point. Allah Iqbal, one of the greatest Ashari of Pakistan and India. Let me tell, tell you in Urdu. He said, They were so powerful by being Muslim. They were so powerful by being Muslim. 313 people only. And they got a victory in the Battle of Badr. They had nothing. Hunayn, Battle of Ahzab. You name it. Sahaba, they had no weapons, nothing. The help of Allah was with them. And they got victory. And what he said the next one? When he said, O Mu'aziz, on him khan who is the Quran. And we are disrespected because we left the Quran in Kitab Allah. We don't like to practice on My dear Islam, only one religion supposed to be alive and practice. And what is what that is? In the deen of Allah in Islam. Indeed, the religion only in the eyes of Allah is an Islam. So whoever they follow, they will be successful. And on. And whoever do it, they don't follow. Allah said, If you are trying to prove yourself that you are Muslim with the other culture, Allah said, No, 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 I'm not happy with this. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me the feeling and give you as well that we follow Islam with the full practice 
with the full Aqeel. And before the end of the khutbah, I would like to just mention that I'm all the way here from Ontario, Toronto, Ontario. The masjid's name is Jamia Islamia Canada, located in Mississauga, half an hour away from Toronto downtown. And we purchased Mashallah this with $3.3 million. And your ship was also there uh, in the past. And currently we have expansion, which includes sisters, women, prayer area, also washroom, kitchen area, slum school, and funeral services as well. Which is costing $350,000 plus we have to call the Hassan and message payment as well. And we wanted to finish this project before the month of Ramadan in this regard. We are collecting funds. Me, myself, will be available at the exit. We have an interact machine. Check and cash is also welcome. And inshallah, taxes will be issued. Brothers and sisters are humbly requested. Please open your heart and tell your generosity. I know that it's very short for you, but please bear a couple of minutes because we have two machines and you might need a couple of minutes. So please bear with me, inshallah. May you offer all the Muslim Ummah, Allahumma ahiza al-Islam wa al-Muslimin. Allahumma ansu ikhwanina fi kulli makan. Allahumma ansu ikhwanina fi kulli makan. Khusus al-fi Palestine, Gaza, wa fi anha'i al-alameen, ya Rabbi al-alameen. Allahumma ahfadna min kulli bala'i dunya wa ahdaan bil-akhir. Allahumma ahfadna min kulli bala'i dunya wa ahdaan bil-akhir. اللهم احفظ المسجد الأقصى اللهم احفظ المسجد الأقصى والحرمين الشريفين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين بباب الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعبد والإحسان وإنتاء ذي القضاء وإنها عن الفحشاء والمنكر والضغط يعزكم لعلكم تذكرون واذكروا الله نزلكم وجهم يزل لكم قد ذكروا الله تعالى أعمل رؤولا وأعمل وجلهم وأتم وأكبر ومنس الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله